On this video, I'm talking some pretty and functional items for your RV that's organization and decor. So I wanted to buy a few things that I felt like was decor but could be used as organization. So I got five things that I really think that you will like. And with Amazon Prime Day coming up, you're gonna want to tag these. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks about Amazon Prime Day that you need to know. But first, let's talk decor and organization. So the first thing are these organization wall hangers. You can hang them on the back of the door. You can hang them on the wall because in an RV, wall space is huge. If you need extra space, the wall is a place that you can get it in your RV. It comes in a two set, so you get two of these. I hung one of ours in the hallway when you come in the door just to put little knickknack things that when you come in and you don't know where you wanna put it, I figured we could put them here. Then this one I ended up hanging in the bathroom. I have put our wash rags and, you know, and something to make the bathroom smell good when you get through. I think these are great for a bathroom, the bedroom, the den, just a place to put small items and they're very low profile. So you don't have to worry about them sticking away from the wall too much. The next one along that same line is another wall hanging. This has three baskets on it and I think this looks really good in our bedroom. I'm gonna like put my socks in here so that way they don't take up a drawer space where I can use it for shirts and different things. But this would be a great little place to put like socks or underwear or different things that you just don't want to put in a drawer and you want quick, easy access to. And I love how it looks, it's very well made. And I really like the look of it. And I'm gonna leave links in the description box below to everything. And these are affiliate links. So this helps keep me buying more things so that I can review them and let you know if they're any good. Now this next one, I have had a good while and I've had a lot of people ask me about it and they don't make this particular one on Amazon anymore, but I will link one that looks like it. I had this hanging on the wall in the bedroom and I can put my phone in here, I can put my remote in here. It has a lot of different uses and then it looks pretty and I really have enjoyed having this over the last few years. I found this really big basket that is collapsible, so you don't have to worry about if the fact if you forget to move it and it gets stuck in between your in your slides, it would squish. This thing, when it first came, it was very cattywampus and wonky, but after I put towels in here and have left them in here a while, it's straightened out and looks great. I love this. I've got three big towels. I have three big blankets in here. You don't have to put just blankets in here. You can put all kinds of things in here. If you're looking for something to put your blankets in and put in your RV, I would recommend this one. Now, the last thing is kind of for your outside of your RV. I know a lot of times you'll see picnic tables and I see a lot of people talking in RV groups about somebody puts their dog or puts their poop bag on the picnic tables and well, that being said, you know, it's gonna be hard to keep those tables clean just because they're outside, dirty things happen. But I found this really pretty and it comes in a bunch of different colors. It is a picnic table cover. It has elastic on it so it won't blow away. And it even comes with the seats so that you can put them on the seat cushion so you don't have to worry about if it is a picnic table that has splinters or anything, you're not gonna get splinters and this will protect it and it'll look pretty at the same time. I have to say that, I guess because it's plastic, it does have a funny smell. It's not horrible, but it does have a smell. I always try to tell y'all everything about stuff that I buy. Now it is time to talk about Amazon Prime Day and a few tips and tricks that I wanna talk about. The first thing is Amazon Prime Day is July the 11th and 12th. So make sure you mark your calendars and get ready. 
I would love it if any of your purchases, if you would go through my Amazon storefront to do all your purchases that day, I get a portion of that, helps this channel out, and it doesn't cost you another dime. It's the same price whether you go through my storefront or not, so you might as well give us some extra money rather than giving it to Amazon, right? Now, one of my biggest tips is I would say go through, look through Amazon, make you a wish list of things that you would like to see go on sale on Prime Day, put them in that wish list, and then that way, that way, all you have to do during Prime Days is go to that list, hit refresh, and it will refresh the prices for you. And you can just keep hitting refresh to see if any of the things that you want go on sale and you don't miss that deal. Always wait till Prime Day before you buy anything. The pre-Prime Day sales most likely will not be the best deal that you will find on Prime Day. So make sure that you just put those items in your wish list and then on Prime Day, look to buy them that day. The best times to typically shop on for Prime Day deals is between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Amazon's banking that people will be waking up, looking on Amazon, and also maybe at their lunch hour, they'll be on there looking. So that's typically the time. Now there is like another slot, I think it's like 1 to 1.30 Eastern Time, that they say that is another good time to look for those deals. Now finally, if you see an Amazon deal that you like, buy it because most likely they're going to sell out. Last year, I got my ice maker. It was $300 off. I woke up and it was on there and I was so excited. I had to wake up Bill to make sure I'm like, can I buy this please? Because it was still an expensive purchase, but that is one of my favorite prime deals I have ever got as I saved $300 on something that I would have never bought at full price. So make sure that if you see the deal, don't wait because it could be gone if it is a good deal because that ice maker I looked like two hours later and there was none left it was already sold out so make sure that when you see your deal you buy it also like I said use my storefront to buy your Amazon Prime Days I made an Amazon playlist where I talk about all my favorite Amazon items so go check that out if you're looking for some things to buy till next time like and subscribe